Welcome to the blog. <laughs> Hi, my name's Aubrey, and this is my safe space. This is all going to be about the creativity, the stuff that I do to fill myself up with joy, and things that I'm challenging myself to do this year to get to a better place and where I want to be in life. And I'm really excited, so I wanted to share it with everybody. There's a lot of things that I do, whether it's skincare or travel or cooking or things that I like doing for fun, like the farmer's market and how I've made that a part of my life that I'm really looking forward to sharing with everybody, including friends like this. This is Lila. She's crazy. Woo, bye. So we'll be meeting a lot of friends along the way. Uh, thank you for joining and I'm excited. Please drop in the comments anything that you'd like to see or if there's things that you saw and you want more information, recipes, links, all kinds of stuff. I'll include what I can remember, but if there's other stuff, definitely let me know. But here we go. Welcome to day one. So here we are. Let's hop into it. There were a lot of really fun things that I've done over the last week, week and a half to kind of prepare for the new year. One of my favorite things to do is go to the farmer's market. I'm really lucky my friend Kate introduced me to this farmer's market that's only 10 minutes away. I go all the time. I've been almost every single week since she took me. So I love cooking and I've always found that the best way to make the best food is use the best ingredients. So that's not necessarily expensive, just really, really fresh. And farmer's markets are a great way of doing that without spending a bag at Whole Foods. <laughs> a little bit about what I got when I went to the farmer's market. This is called Lion's Mane. You've probably heard a lot about this recently. Lion's Mane is great for your brain. It's really great for helping you form those connections. And it tastes amazing, guys. It has texture kind of like crab and it has a very like fishy flavor as well but not like the bad fishy like the expensive fishy like people compare it to lobster or crab a lot and you compare it with a lot of the same things like steak um i like sometimes get in the skillet with some avocado oil and then you know little aioli to dip it in and it's so good you could just make it just like that but I also got these oyster mushrooms, which I had not ever played with before, but it was brand new and I got really excited. Obviously I bought a lot of mushrooms. So these oyster mushrooms are really cool because they have like this buttery flavor, but they're very savory. So it's guy that I bought these from, the company that he started is amazing. I'm gonna put a link in the uh, caption below here so you guys can all check it out. He's starting at like, he started this business from the ground up, you guys. This is really, really cool what he's doing. He was telling me about how he puts it in stir fry, so I thought I'd give that a try. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what that looked like and how that turned out. I also got these sprouts. These sprouts are really good. I've gotten them before. Sprouts are basically just baby plants. So like these leek sprouts taste a lot like onions, like leeks. So they're great. They're basically like an onion substitute. It's a lot less hard on your stomach and lots of other good nutrients. Just also these, uh, this one was new, cilantro sprouts. Basically just tastes like cilantro, maybe a little stronger because it's smaller. All the flavor is a lot more condensed in sprouts. So they have like a lot of peppery or like spicy flavors. But this one really just tastes like cilantro, maybe a little bit more peppery which I liked. And I also got these beets. These beets are so good. I haven't figured out what I want to put them with yet, but luckily they're good forever. So I have plenty of time to figure it out. I did pick out a couple and eat them. So yummy. Um, pretty much what you'd expect. They do just taste like beets, but really fresh. Lots of leafy greens. I got, I got these mustard greens and I literally felt like I was living in that TV show on Netflix, Chef's Table. Basically, I was just walking around and I got to like try the 
mustard greens like right off the leaf right out of the store they let me try it it was so good and it really tastes a lot like radishes it's like spicy like horseradish that's the best way to describe it it's a lot like horseradish they told me that it would be also really good in stir fries so you might be sensing a trend here i made stir fry anyways once i tried that then of course i had to get some kale and the kale is just so beautiful look how green it is it's just like bouncy and amazing and full of personality i just love it and then of course we got some broccoli in there you know that goes great with stir fry anyway i got a ton of really just delicious delicious foods there and i always like going there it just really inspires me on new things to try and to cook and to experiment with i've never tried mustard greens or oyster mushroom so overall the farmer's market was a blast. It was super fun. It always is. I always get a ton of vegetables and other stuff, but this was just a quick run to get groceries and make some stuff for my meal prep. I am a huge fan of meal prep. I meal prepped a bunch of really good stuff. One morning, that's where I kind of got to sleep in and take it slow, so I actually just made really abundant eggs and everything sauteed in there. I put some of the oyster mushrooms in there, but I also put potatoes and spinach. I used some of those cilantro sprouts, so, so good. And then I also made, da 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 da, stir fry. Of course I made stir fries. Definitely used a lot of other veggies, but I just had so much fun making it. And just everything was really easy. So meal prepped a bunch of that. That's sitting in my fridge right now. Ate that for lunch today. It was great, highly recommend. One thing that I do to relax sometimes, especially around the holidays, lately I've been doing it a lot, is taking a bath. I tell people this is my therapy. So I make it a whole experience. I put in you know, a few essential oils, I put in bath bombs, I put in rose petals, just happen to have roses, voila. Uh, also got this awesome speaker on Amazon, definitely linking this, this thing I am obsessed with. And it's cool because it's just like a giant keychain and they make it in a bunch of colors and I think they just look so cute, but they sound amazing. So had that going, whole vibe, looking out the window, so gorgeous. Life is good, take a bath. <laughs> had a painting day with my friend Elena. We had an amazing time. This was something we did on January 1st to kick off the new year. We had so much fun. She brought snacks, I brought these little wine coolers. We just painted for about an hour and a half. And honestly, we could have been going for another five hours. It just got really, really dark and cold. But we had this beautiful spot at the park and I saw this perfect sunset. And so I was inspired and I made this painting. Now, please, I'm not an artist. I just really like painting. Again, it's just something that I do as a creative outlet. I'm a big believer in that you don't have to be a professional artist to enjoy art and all the benefits that it brings you. I would love to hear about some of the things that you do to kind of endorse that creative outlet in your life, to enrich it, to do something fun and relaxing. And I also get that like crafting and music and stuff may not be your art. There's a lot of different types of art. Literally, I could see coding as an art. That's what my brother does. He's amazing at it. Tell me all about yours. I want to try a lot more of these new fun creative outlets throughout the year, so please feel free to drop in some comments. Last but not least, there's always somebody who needs help. It's not about the number of people you help, it's just the fact that you help even one person. So made a bunch of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and handed those out downtown. And trust me, I had a blast doing this because of course I made myself a sandwich, but I also got to ride a scooter around downtown Austin for two miles, probably actually closer to three by the time I got back to my car. So I had an amazing time. I love scootering. I know it's kind of dangerous and maybe gonna start thinking about an alternative method of transportation, but it really is the best thing for handing out these sandwiches. I also have these gorgeous views. It's always a fun thing and I'm gonna try and do more of this stuff. Uh, in fact, each video I'm planning on putting something in there where 
whether I become the Austin's downtown sandwich girl or something different. There's lots of ways to help people and animals, so not to get you too excited, but there's going to be more animals. <laughs> That's all I have. Um, thank you so much for watching, especially if you actually watched to the end. Wow. Biggest fan. That's great. Thank you for that. But definitely like, subscribe. What do people say? Just tell people about it. I'm super grateful for all of you. And plan on another one of these coming out in about a month, maybe less. Not trying to go too crazy with these, but it is going to be fun. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.